At least in Afghanistan, we had nippy nights. It makes one yearn for rainy London. This place, Champagne, did not mince words about it. Keep your wits about you, Watson. We are inching closer to the heart of this mystery, however dark it may be. Hell's bells! I told you to stay away, Doctor. That he did, Holmes. I rule these walls. No hiding from me here. No case goes cold on my watch. Settle down, boys. Our friends are as good as gone. This is it, Watson. Our moment of truth. Arneson was held captive in this cage until his abductors tied him to a cross and dragged him to the bonfire. Arneson was left hanging here for a while before being freed and led to the altar. At the altar, Arneson's captors performed a ritual on him and poured blood over his head. With Arneson now prepared, he was escorted to the sealed entrance. They used the mechanism with an indentation to open the passage. Holmes, what are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did you get here? How did you get through the maze? Tell me, Watson. What maze? I walked straight up to you. You saw me. Do not lie to me, John. How did you get out? Sherlock, what happened? Are you feeling all... Oh, heavens. Is that Arneson? Why didn't you mention him? Stay put. I must check if he is alive. Eyes without purpose, and now see the truth. Tear me man from my flesh, scar me festering soul. Phantoms of nothing, we are born to die. Filled in the eyes of our eldritch lord. Free my festering soul and let me feel. Oh, please, I wish to return. Free me, let me return. Free me and rejoice. Eyes without purpose, I now see the truth. Tear my mind from my flesh. Holmes, are you all right? Here, let me help. I'm fine. Holmes? Sherlock! What the hell were you doing? He almost killed you! I don't... You're right. Let's go, Watson. Bon Dieu! Still among the living! We are, though not for lack of trying by the Sheriff. Well, he'd been telling people you died in the swamp despite his trying to save you. <laughs> Crooked man. Throw and throw. Wait, is that Mr. Arneson? Yes, but he's not well. Do you know Lucy? Belle from the Nymph? That I do. Please bring her here. Mr. Arneson needs to see a familiar face if he's to have any chance of surviving. Power of the heart. I get you. Wait here. Uh, Errol? Oh, Errol! Reckon we should give him space. Farewells are painful. No, 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 no. Tell me that's not true. Watson? Mr. Arneson has endured a lot. Lost four fingers, a lot of blood, and some of his sanity. But with rest and tender care, he ought to survive those injuries, both physical and mental. Thank you, Johnny. I'll take care of him. Thank you for bringing him home to me. We'll be all right. Are you quite certain? Do you have the space? The resources? I will stay with him at the mansion. It is not a burden to take care of your love. His property is in quite a state. It may not be the best place for recuperation. Hush now. Champagne will see it sorted. Then it's settled. 
Hear that, Errol? Us living under one roof. Careful what you wish for. Oh, and Champagne? I'm about sick of watching that sheriff run riot through New Orleans. We ought to talk. Funny. I was just thinking that Grub did nothing to save your man. Together, I reckon you, me, and Arrow have the sway to make some changes around here. I like the sound of that. Holmes, our boat. Oh, we must make haste. Farewell all. Take care. Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. In contrast, of course, to Sherlock. A man whose obsessive pursuit of the trivial tears through the most carefully laid plans like a hurricane. Do you have any idea what you have disrupted? <laughs> your ego is inflated as much as your waistband. What word comes to mind? You... you work for the government? International trade is a delicate beast. Your antics and Edelweiss have jeopardized one of the Crown's richest relationships. Oh dear. As rich as all the butter you've been slathering on your bread? We need your help. What? There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly, festering in the dark beyond our reach. We have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease pie. Whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You, and the rest of your corpulent cronies. Ha! Corpulent! That was it. Interesting, Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. I shall take the book and Davis' cryptic message to Barnes. See what he makes of it. Hmm? It has been a while, Barnes. D D Dr. Watson. Indeed it has, and good to see you as always. Uh, how can I help? Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for translating occult texts. I was wondering if you could help me with this book. Certainly, I... Goodness. Where on earth did you procure this grimoire? That's a long story. What do you make of it? It seems to describe pagan rituals, ancient deities... Wow, what a marvel. I can try and translate it for you. Um, just the pages bearing that symbol. This section, really. Entity of ocean... More time... Oh my. Oh, uh, already on it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you can have it done at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light mean anything to you? Uh, well, my mind first goes to Robert Louis Stevenson, an up-and-coming author. I've been following his work in the periodicals. Interesting man. I take it his literary pursuits are somewhat of a deviation from the family business. What makes you say that? He wrote a poem. Let me see if I have it still. Uh, yes. Say not of me that weakly I declined the labours of my sires, and fled the sea, the towers we founded, and the lamps we lit. Hmm. The labours of his sires. I wonder what they do. I have a book on great British families. If the Stevensons have achieved anything of note, they will be in there. Please, feel free to take a look. It should be on the shelves to the right. Much obliged. Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Feats of lighthouse engineering. You have my thanks for the book. My pleasure, Doctor. Do you need any particular part of the coast? Loch Harbour, west coast. Right then, I'll unroll it on the desk. All yours. In the meantime, I will attend to my translation. Much appreciated. 
binding pages. Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes. I've written out a translation of the section you wanted. It, uh, puts the Grim in Grimoire. I thought as much. Long story short, it details macabre rituals, death, leviathans and the apocalypse. See for yourself. I must ask you to leave the book with me so I can read more of it. It's compelling. Very compelling. You have been of great help, so yes. Excellent. I could barely put it down. Farewell. Mycroft. Here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction? The Holmes family is beyond counselling, Doctor. True? More deserving of scientific study. What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to... Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. I'm worried about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gall. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces. <clears throat> your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck. This time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just do not tell him it came from me. Oh, speaking of the crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires some local knowledge. I'll get back to you. You would be wise to change your mind. I'll be waiting in Barnes's shop. Did you reconsider my offer? I'm all ears. For your eyes only. Here is a folder with all the details. Lockpicks. A wasp's nest. They might attack if someone draws too close or are otherwise provoked. Much like London itself. Royal Berkshire Regiment. His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. A capital M signed by someone else's hand. Only his right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the water. A map of possible routes taken from the embassy. I thought only Sherlock was capable of this kind of deduction. I'm sorry I have bad news. Please do not tell me Hawk is a turncoat. Worse, I have found him dead in his wheelchair, out in the garden. Hmm. How did he die, exactly? He was stung repeatedly by wasps. His body succumbed to anaphylaxis. And that is all you observed? Was there anything suspicious? Well, there was one thing. In his notes, I found a handwritten M, but it didn't match Hawke's other writing. Listen carefully, Doctor. Do not investigate further. Do not talk about this matter to anyone, and do not ask questions. Thank you. Now leave it alone. Holmes, I have the translation. Barnes will keep researching. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes gave us a preliminary translation of the book. I think we have a lead. Sherlock, what is it? I find myself burdened come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession of grants me the insights that have become my stock in trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, brothers. And despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? 
Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. If you cannot see your word, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. But that I possessed even half your courage. Pray tell, where does our journey end? Ardnamurk, Scotland. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. Soon, I fear we will join those missing souls. These seas have taken too many, John. Let's stop them from taking more, then. Holmes! Holmes, come on, wake up! Thank heavens. What were you doing? What happened? The whirlwind. The stars are so distant. The sun inverts. The earth it becomes transparent. Sherlock, snap out of it. Nothing is everything. We are so small, inconsequential. A shadow in the dark. I... I think we best go back. You are not well, Sherlock. No. no. We are so close. We cannot... You asked that I intervene if I saw you cracking. This is me intervening. With every passing minute, another life is extinguished. We must stop, Rochester. We must end this. Ah, oh, Sherlock, you almost died. Don't worry about me, John. You have other men to save. That's it! You did it! The lens broke! John, the worshippers, we need to make sure... Of course, I'll see if they're alright. Stop there, shipmates! A storm awakens and we've battened down the hatches. Dirty summers, I presume. Nice to put a filthy, sweat-covered face to a name. That's no way to speak to a captain! Sherlock, get down! Watson, you killed him! I... I didn't have a choice. Well, what's done is done. If we do not stop Rochester, Summer's death will be but one of many. Tell me you have a plan. Of course. We shall apply what we just learned, charge the Khalid lenses, and break them with the dagger. That should put a stop to this cursed ritual. All right, good. I confess, I worry about what awaits us. Is it too much to hope this will all come right? If our future is black, it is better surely to face it like a man than to attempt to brighten it by mere will-o'-the-wisps of the imagination. Come on. We'll go together. Look at them all. We have to help them. Watson, stop. Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay here. See to the lenses. I shall confront Rochester. He owes me the truth. Sherlock! Sherlock! Mr. Holmes, you are late. Was the path here not as you anticipated? You expected me? We've stood here before, Mr. Holmes. Another you. 
Another me. Many years ago. I wonder what will happen this time. What? What are you talking about? Join me! Bear witness to the end! You cannot bear witness to anything, Lord Rochester! You are blind! Oh. How? How could you? It is what I do! No! How could you be so ignorant? For I have never seen more clearly than in this moment! Never felt more than I feel right now! Every fiber of the Earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening! The bile of madness rises in our throats just as our master rises below. I see moon beasts, night gaunts, a witch doctor in Arkham. I see what the stars themselves are dreaming. I know more than any man has ever known. You are delusional. How did you do it? The compulsions, the visions, was it some form of hypnosis or no? A drug, perhaps. Tell me. Bah! There is no ruse. There is no big reveal. It is exactly what it seems. You still fight so desperately against this truth, but you feel it too. Yes? Yes? You are mad. You have mistaken hallucinations for reality. Are you really one to talk, Mr. Holmes? Speak truthfully now. In the port. In the swamp. What did you see? Something beyond the capacities of my imagination. A world so alien, but... But so familiar. Yes, I see it too, in your mind's eye. Untold horrors lick their lips in the shimmering dreamlands, as Sarnath sinks eternal. But what? is the point. What are you hoping to achieve with all this slaughter? Do these people deserve such suffering? They are just tools. Their existence is meaningless unless put to use. Oh, all-seeing master. Oh, grand god beneath. How he has blessed them with purpose. You use them for cruelty. I've seen a man eat his own flesh just to hear the whispers of lizards. I've seen a mother behead her newborn, that she might travel to another world. Galaxies swallow each other whole. Light falls in on itself until nothing remains. You know not cruelty, Mr. Holmes. Cruelty is for such knowledge to be beyond the reach of so many. This is hubris delusion. You are Icarus flying too close to the sun. No, no. You misinterpret the legend, Holmes. Icarus flew! He reached heights no man had ever reached! One must imagine Icarus happy! He burned! Rochester plummeted to his death! And were you to ask him of his choice, he would have not a single regret! Every step I took was necessary! Every drop of blood a blessing! Every death predestined! Surely you understand! It was for knowledge! The only thing worth living for! Why must you remain so blind? Be honest! What is it you fear? I... I am afraid that it will cost me my sanity, much as it has cost you yours. There is no such thing as sanity. There is only the world as it is. And one's willingness to accept it. You... you truly believe it? That a god arises from below that the world shall end. There is only nothingness. Only chaos and torture and endless time. Stretching its wings, baring its teeth. It's preposterous. It's nonsense. It's... You... you drug me. Uh, the fumes in the temple, narcotics, are a bad reaction. Oh, you're one of my cross agents. Yes. Yes, this has the stink of my brother all over it. No, 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 wait. Of course. I am dreaming in the asylum. Uh, if in Black Edelweiss, I'm tied to a chair. You are standing right here, Holmes, as you always do. You, you said that before. You said we had met, but I've never seen you before in my life. 
The cycle repeats, old becomes new, and we remain pawns in the hands of a god! Submit! Submit to your inconsequence! It is unthinkable! It is undeniable! I cannot! When you have eliminated all which is impossible, then whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth! Now, Holmes! Now is the moment! You know it in your heart! Say it! Say it! It's... It's real. All of it, it's... It's real. Maybe your god is unstoppable, but you are merely a man. And I know how to stop you. What do you mean? What have you done? I have made a friend. Yeah! No! Curse you! Oh, great one! Forgive me! It is over, Rochester. I thought this time would be different. But the gods laugh at man's arrogance. Sherlock! Come back down! The wave! Come with us! Turn yourself in! Save yourself! The Abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you. The final problem approaches, and you too shall fall. Sherlock, please! Rochester, don't! Such heights we reach! No! God! Sherlock, we must get inside! I have to see it, John. I have to know. Apologies, did I rouse you? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. No, no, no. The sound of your keys it is my tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your visions with Light of the Abyss, your confrontation with Rochester? No. Pardon me? Do not publish it. It would be professional suicide. Uh, you would be a laughing stock, a fabulist, concocting penny dreadfuls for the unwashed masses. And I... Well, I would no longer attract a distinguished clientele, but madmen convinced I could connect them to their deceased relatives or... Help them capture a fairy. Ah. It doesn't seem to get any better, does it? When I close my eyes, John, I am falling. Falling into a black abyss. It is endless and suffocating and unforgiving. But I would give for a dreamless night. It's going to be all right, Sherlock. What is that? It will help you rest. No, 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 no not that, no, no. I say, Watson, would you be afraid to sleep in the same home as a lunatic, a man with softening of the brain, an idiot whose mind has lost its grip? Not in the least. It's lucky.